here we have that crank assembly again um, from the Royal Enfield V-twin model K from 1930 that I've rebuilt. Um, as we saw in another video I've got new big ends in it and new small end bushes and I've checked the run out which was in the region of one thousandth of an inch on the uh, main shafts so I'm happy with that. Um, I've got it held in a vise but I have got aluminium soft jaws there and the reason I've got it held like this you'll see in a minute the uh, oil feed to the big ends on these goes from the main bearings via a close fit to the faces of the main bearings uh, by this flat area here which is on both sides both flywheels so uh, there's an oil feed on either side um, I'm also going to have to repair that a little there um, there's a chip in that which seems to be a common thing as uh, all of them seem to have that to one degree or another I'll probably build that up with some uh, Devcon and uh, blend it in anyway I'm not going to be too worried about that because the Devcon will hold for definite um, the oil hole you might just be able to see is there and what we've got there it is there we've got a corresponding oil hole obviously on the face of the other flywheel down there and then there's two holes in the crank pin feeding the big ends themselves so what I'm going to do is just to verify that all the oilways are clear right through from one to the other one side to the other if I put this spray can pipe into the feed hole on this side and give it a blast let's see if we can see anything coming out here hopefully the camera will pick that up I'm seeing it that is the old uh, WD-40 passing right through from one end of the crank assembly to the other so that tells me that both oil feed holes on the drive side and the timing side are capable of picking up oil and sending it through to the big ends which is what we want so they're going to get their oil no problem no questions so uh, that's another very very worthwhile check on a crank assembly like this uh, just to make sure that the oil holes between the crank pin ends and the flywheels are all lined up oil is able to pass right through and uh, in this case it can so that's not a worry. Really.